guys, so I'm at my favorite, one of my favorite places to shop for vintage items. I was at East Fork Mall, which is located in Forney, Texas, and I had not been here in a while, guys. I think it had been about a month, um, so I was really excited to go. There were some new booths, there were some changes, and I found a lot. Um, there will be a haul at the end of this, so stay tuned to see what I picked up. Um, I loved that. Oh, okay. First of all, who doesn't love that cat saying you're perfect? Um, I had to film that just so you guys all know that you're perfect as well. But that made in Japan <laughs> wonky elephant ashtray was adorable. Okay. This is also adorable. This planter, um, both of these items were priced a little bit too high for me to resell. Those are some nice chalkware pieces back there. Look at that Irish setter or golden retriever. So cute. Um, of course, I had to show you guys the cat. Really, really cool. There were a lot of cute figurines in this booth. There were a lot of birds, as you can see here. I like the way this booth was organized um, by animal. There was a horse section as well. I think I, I do show that. Um, lots of birds. Lots of pretty birds. Um, I liked this a lot. This I'm assuming it's a kingfisher. Is that a kingfisher, guys? No. Is that a woodpecker? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I went by too fast. Okay, here's the horses with a random Mickey. Um, I was trying to figure out this horse. It says rose gold horse. Um, I'm pretty sure it's modern. I thought it was cool though. I like the very simple uh, design of it. Um, I wasn't sure if it's something you guys would appreciate. So I, I left it behind. There's a really cute horse and carriage. Oh my gosh. So this is Noritake. And this is a rearing stallion. And he's priced at 100 He is bone china. He's absolutely beautiful. But out of my price range. There's a chalkware horse back there. Uh, they did have some briar pieces as well. This booth was, you know, random. It had a bunch of different things, which is always cool. Um, obviously, I think they had a thing for horses, which I love. Uh, there were some figurines. Clown alert! Clown alert! I forgot about those clowns. I saw a lot of clowns today, guys. Um, that zebra is cool. I almost got that, guys. I wasn't sure, again, if it's something you would be interested in or not. I don't know if it's vintage. Um, more cute figurines. I liked her. Um, a little old lady seamstress. She had string attached. There's some girly girl stuff there. Okay, I like this boot a lot. This is a taller boot. And it's a made in Japan boot, as you can see there. Look at all the flowers. I looked at this for a while, trying to figure out if it was something you guys would be interested in. Um, I mean, I know of a lot of people do collect shoes and boots, um, but as you can see, it was priced a little bit high, so it would have to be, um, you know, something that someone really, really wants, because um, it was 20. I thought that was cute. That is a 70s silhouette. Um, I would have gotten it, but it, it's personalized. It says Pat on it. So I was trying to think, are there any Pats that I know of that come to my sales? And um, if so, and you're watching and you want that, let me know. I'm happy to go back and get that for you. There were some Christmas lights there. <laughs> I thought she was cute. <laughs> this is called the standoff. It was a girl and her cat. Um, these are obviously dolphins. They're bookends. They were really cool. They were very, very heavy. Um, I do believe they're brass and some other metal. Uh, they had uh, some art here as well. That is a framed poster. Like I said, this booth was kind of a hodgepodge. Okay, so when I was shopping, I started thinking about it and I started debating, do I want to get a booth? Um, I have a lot of artwork that I have picked up over the past year or so, and a, a few pieces of furniture, and I don't know, if any of you have a booth, let me know the pros and cons of opening a booth. Um, you know, I've just been doing eBay and the live sales recently, so I haven't done an actual booth, but I'm, I'm kind of interested to know what you guys think, like how is it going, um, do you prefer it to online selling? Okay, so this radio is amazing. Um, it was $475 and it said it still worked. Okay, this covered wagon was cool. I like the, the little pinto horse right there with it. Um, there were some 
Cox. So I had to film them, of course. They had some vintage jewelry in this booth. I can't remember if I ended up getting anything here or not. There I am opening the compact. It was really pretty. It had a floral, like a, a bouquet of flowers on it. Necklaces, bracelets. Okay, I didn't end up getting this. This was an enamel pin. And guess what? I didn't have my black light because I never remember to bring my black light. So I'm going to get a black light camera. But, black light camera, oh my gosh. A black light that will fit on my keychain. I don't know where camera came from. But um, I'm ordering that ASAP because that brooch did glow. I thought these bottles were really pretty. Um, it was just labeled decanter with stopper. Two of them for 60 I did not do any research. I just thought they were really pretty, but they were a little bit too high. And that's something I wasn't quite sure about. Oh, I loved this lamp, y'all. I thought about going back and getting it, but the last thing I need is another lamp. I have a lot of lamps um, that are kind of collecting dust that I need to figure out. I have some Tiffany-style lamps. I have a very, very old Asian uh, figural lamp. I have some Moroccan lamps. Thank you, Beth McLean. <laughs> um, I just I have quite a few lamps, and I've got to figure out which ones to keep, which ones to sell. Um, of course, the gifts I would never sell. But Okay, so I thought this mirror was really nice. I like the detailing on it. I just thought it was really pretty. It was super heavy, and as you can see, it was kind of tucked in back there, so I was afraid to lift it. Um, I'm not getting closer because there was a lot of stuff in my way. And I was trying to show you guys that it was hard to get back to that mirror. Um, there is a hat. I don't know if it's like Oddfellow's hat. I'm not quite sure, but I thought it was cool. Oh, these cups and saucers were beautiful. This one was my favorite. Really kind of a pink opalescent hue on that. I love the shape of it. I love the inside of it. It was so, so pretty. It had such a nice luster on it. I loved it. I can't remember how much it was, but if it ever is on sale, I might have to go back and get that. These were more modern pieces. Um, I just thought they were cool, so I went ahead and filmed them. This booth was also a hodgepodge. Oh, there's a really big turkey platter. I thought he was a pretty turkey. Oh, these trivets were awesome. Um, it was another situation where it was hard to get to them. Um, and they were a little heavy, so I was <laughs> trying to find out more about them, like try to determine how old they were, and I, I never really was able to do that. Um, these wall uh, candelabras are beautiful. Uh, that lamp is really cool as well. They had some clothing in this booth, as you see. Okay, there's something on the right that I end up picking up. Do you see this amethyst glass? This is Indiana glass, and it's amazing. I love it. I did end up getting that. It was hard for me to lift that as well as hold the camera. But if you stay tuned to the haul, you will see that beautiful, beautiful pedestal dish. Um, I thought that chipmunk was cute. That was an old liquor bottle. I want to say maybe Jack. They had a bunch of adorable figurines here. Um, I believe these were all left in. And spoiler alert, I did end up picking up some of these as well. There were some I left behind that had damage. Um, she did not, so she went home with me. And she was a September angel. I like this booth. Um, this booth, I think, is called Two Broke Girls, which is really cute. Um, but they, they have a nice variety of things. Oh, I almost got her, guys, but there was a petal missing. So let me know if you don't mind about a petal missing. And when I go back there, I can pick her up if she's still there. I picked her up as well. She is super, super cute. Look at her eyes. She's like a fall girl, maybe a Thanksgiving girl. I'm not really sure, but she's really cute holding that leaf. Oh, and I love her. I did get her as well. She is a Christmas bell, and she's also left in. And she still has her tag. I think all of these actually did. Which is a bonus, of course. We got some kissing angels. A lot of the booths were starting to decorate for Christmas, which is always cool. I 
was just kind of trying to give you guys a view of everything in this booth because it was also a hodgepodge. They had some cute children's books up there as well. It was hard to reach those too. Um, trying to film, you know, and then grab anything with one hand in an antique mall is not always the best. I do need to get something um, so I can use a handheld phone. Uh, this booth was on sale, which was cool. Okay, so what do you guys think about this juice set? Um, the glasses and the pitcher. Um, they had the complete set. I was looking at those little dolls. Um, I may have to go back and get a few of those. This was beautiful. I believe it's Hollywood Regency. I'm not sure. Um, but the hinges weren't there. I would have gotten it otherwise. Really, really pretty. They had a lot of nice vanity items in this booth as well. This is a different booth. I think it's one over from where I was with all the left-ins. Yeah. They had some pretty glass in here, though. This is another booth I have found a few things at as well. So I'm just trying to give you guys a view of everything that I was looking at. I did notice there was more clothing this trip than what I'm used to. Um, maybe I just didn't notice it before, but I, I was kind of in a rush. Okay. So I've seen three of these men in concert. Who do you think I've seen? Bono, Mick Jagger, or Bruce Springsteen. And I've touched one of them. I have grabbed his leg. Who do you think it is? Okay, guys, stay tuned for the haul. Thank you. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed, oh my, today's shop along. Let me fix these little nuns right here. No nonsense needs to be going on. Um, I had a great time. I went to East Fork Mall, which is an antique mall in Forney, Texas. One of my favorite places to go hunting. And these are some of the goodies that I picked up. I'm actually going to do a second haul because I, I realized I picked up a lot yesterday. And I'm just going to do a separate video so you guys can see it all. It wouldn't fit on the table. So... <laughs> I'm very excited about it, though. I found a lot of Christmas, so look for that video probably tomorrow, if not sometime over the weekend. Okay, so I'm going to start back here. Um, the first piece I want to show you, sorry, I'm trying to block out the light, um, is this Francoma carafe. As you can see, it comes with its original base. The only problem with this really is that it doesn't have its lid. But guys, this is so, so cool. I love this. I love the color. Um, I love the shape of this carafe. I think it's really, really cool. Um, the carafe is in great shape. There is a crack on the base. And sometimes I have to kind of feel for it. Yeah, it's right there, but it does not go all the way through. As you can see here, the crack is not on the inside. Um, and here is the Francoma marking. Just a really unique piece. Um, I'd never seen one before, so I decided to pick it up. Okay, so it's kind of funny, guys. I didn't realize, but I guess I have a certain color scheme in mind. Kind of these brownish, mauve taupey colors. Um, <laughs> and amethyst and pink. But they're all kind of the same color scheme. And I, I did not realize I did that until I was trying to put everything on the table to show you. So that's kind of cool. Um, the next thing I got is this Red Ware Rooster, or cock. Um, he is a decanter, and guys, he is so, so cool. Uh, look at the crown on him. Look at all the detail. Sorry, I'm having a hard time holding something right now, apparently. Um, I just thought this was phenomenal. Is he not cool? Um, here is the bottom, made in Japan, Red Ware. But look at him. He is just, I think he's a piece of art, just like the Francoma. Um, it does have its original uh, cork stopper here. And I did the sniff test. I didn't actually smell anything. So I don't know if this was ever used. It doesn't look like it based on the cork. But I just thought it was really cool. There's no damage on this guy, um, which is great too. But isn't he amazing? Love it. Okay, next to that is this amethyst glass. Oh my gosh, so I was really excited to find this. Um, I did find out this is kind of a rare piece. This is Indiana glass, and this is their grape harvest pattern. Um, this pedestal dish is so cool. It's beautiful. I thought this would be great for this time of year. Um, you know, 
with fall approaching and family coming and people drinking a lot of wine over the holiday season. Um, I just had to get it. I love the details here on the sides and of course the gray pattern. Um, even the lid has a grape on it. Isn't that cool? I just love it. Love, love, love this piece. And yeah, if you're interested in anything you see on this table, definitely reach out to me. I know I say that every time, but you can always email me or DM me. Okay, so I also got, I actually got four. Um, I got four ceramic candles. Um, these are so cool. The other one I am in the process of cleaning. Um, it's kind of soaking right now, so it's not on the table, but it's a lighter pink like this one here in the middle. So I got two of this darker pink and then two of the lighter pink. Um, I love how it has, um, you know, this drip that looks like a real candle. I think these are really cool, and I was really excited to find them. This is the first time I've picked these up. Now, I've seen them in other sales, and I've seen them online, but first time I found one. So that's cool. Okay, behind that, I have this really cool Aladdin lamp. Um, this is another one with a rose pattern on it. It does have this globe, and I'm not quite sure if this globe um, is the original. It could be. I think it looks good together. Um, I just thought it was really cool. The tag said that everything was included except the oil. <laughs> so, oh, I'm showing you the wrong side, aren't I? So, I'm assuming this, um, you know, has the wick and everything, and it's ready to go. Just a really, really pretty piece. Been picking these up whenever I see them. Okay, next to it is this really pretty vase. Now, it's a bud vase. It's got this really kind of iridescent red, pinkish, oranges color going on. It was labeled as being Fenton. I'm not sure about that. I haven't researched it yet. If you know that it's Fenton, go ahead and leave me a message. Um, I'm just not sure. But I thought it was really pretty, and I love the color. Just really, really nice hue. Okay, next to that is this bird. Oh my gosh, guys. So this is not a bluebird of happiness. This is a Sylvester bird. I have it upside down. Gosh, nothing wants to focus for me today. Um, this is a really, really nice piece. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I've been picking up more blue lately because I think you guys like it. I know Gina does, so I'm drawn to it now, but anyway, I just thought this bird was really pretty. I know people are still really into bluebirds of happiness and birds in general, so I went ahead and got that pretty bird. Okay, and in front here, I have three Lefton girls. Um, I have this girl here. Oops. <laughs> She's got really cute eyes, and she is obviously holding a, a leaf here, which I thought would be great for fall and Thanksgiving. Um, she's got this cute orange dress on. I have not noticed any damage on any of these three. Isn't she cute? I like her eyes. Um, next to her is a September angel. Hello, I'm a September girl. First time I picked her up as well. I don't see any damage on her either. Like I said, all of them seem to be in great shape. Um, she does still have her sticker here. She's so cute. Um, here is the back. Love, love, love. I was really happy to pick her up. And then this one. I hadn't picked her up either before. This is a, a Christmas angel. And she's also left in. Now, she had that string attached. Um, I should have taken it off now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> I thought it was just kind of cute for being Christmas. But, yeah. I can I can give you that if you purchase this, if you're interested in it. Um, here is the left in sticker here. She's so cute. I love her eyes. So, so cute. Okay. Then in front here, I have some other girly girl items. I got this mirror. Now, it is missing a couple of the stones here, but I thought it was really cool. And I don't know. I may make this a craft piece. Um, you know, try to replace those two stones myself. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to open it one-handed. So, let's see. Okay, guys, here's the inside. It is very clean. Really, really pretty. I'm not sure who makes this. I, I thought maybe it was Stratton, but I don't see any, any marking on it. I just thought it was really cool. I like the design of it a lot. Um, yeah, and I think it'll look really pretty once I get those rhinestones added. Okay, I got some brooches. 
I have this really, really cool um, enamel brooch. And guess what, guys? This does glow. Of course, as usual, I forgot to bring my black light, and I haven't ordered my keychain key one yet. Um, I'm probably going to do that today because um, I just picked this up because I thought it was cool. I had no idea it glowed until I got home. Let me show you the glow. Are you ready? Okay, guys, this is a fantastic glow. And you're probably not seeing it. But the orange definitely glows here. I'm going to move it and see if that helps. Let me try, try him over here, maybe. I think you get the picture. It really does glow. Um, the inner orange petals are lighting up like crazy. Anyway, really cool piece. I do pick these enamel brooches up whenever I see them. And I got a couple more. Um, but look at these are silver tone. Yeah, a lot of the time I end up, oh no, I'm sorry, this is gold tone. Oh my gosh, that's how bad I need new glasses, guys. Um, this one I thought was really, really cute with this little girl and her doll. I like the uh, design of this as well. I believe this was from 92. Yes, um, Hamilton Gift Limited. I haven't looked this up yet. I just got it because I thought she was adorable. With her little doll. I love her curly hair. She's so cute. Okay, then next to it is a silver tone brooch. Um, this is pewter, and this is uh, two angels, two cupids, whatever you want to call them, uh, kind of draped around this heart. Um, it is marked here on the back, 91 Seagull Pewter Canada. I just thought that was really pretty. So those are the two girly, girly brooches I got. Then I got this, guys. Um, this is a buckle, and... This looks really old to me. What do you guys think? I'm thinking this might be from the 20s. I don't know. It kind of gives off an Art Deco vibe to me. Um, I'm going to have to research this one for sure. I don't know. This might be Bakelite. I kind of did a sniff test and I, I couldn't tell, but I am a little bit stopped up. My allergies have been crazy, so I might have to try it again. But isn't that cool? Um, I figured there's somebody out there that would really appreciate this and maybe incorporate it into a craft piece or, I mean, you could still use it as a buckle, of course, but I don't know. I just thought it was super cool. I guess I could show you the back. Here you go here. Really, really neat. That was one of my favorite finds. Okay. In front of it, I have one of the cutest finds ever. I have this deer and this is a hand painted deer um, and it is on a piece of wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but um, it's so, so cute. Look at this deer. What a cute little face he has. I just love him. And um, this is in good shape, too. There's a little bit of wear right there, probably due to how old it is, but this is not adorable. I love him. It is signed here. It's 1979. Love it. So, so, so cute. Dear Angela's. <laughs> that's what I always think of her or Belinda when I see a cute deer okay over here I got two pieces of Greek pottery um if you followed me for a while you might have noticed that I do talk about uh Greek history and culture a lot because um it was my focus in college so whenever I see something like this like hand-painted Greek pottery I do go ahead and pick it up um there's a little bit of damage on this I will likely keep this for myself. I just think it's really cool. I love the design. Then there is a bigger um, vase here. And it has the same design as that little uh, picture does. And this is also hand painted by Lucas, it looks like. Um, and this one is in good shape as well. There's a little bit of chipping. I do believe these are older pieces just based on that. Um, anyway. They're really, really cool. Had to get them for my boho people. Uh, then behind them are these adorable nuns. I'm not sure who made these. I got them. I grabbed them as soon as I saw them because I thought they were so cute. Uh, these are, oh look, it looks like this is from 94, 820, 94. Um, they're so cute. Look at her. And the other one has her eyes open and she is praying. Their faces are so, so, so cute. Um, these are maybe made in Japan. I'm really not quite sure. Aren't they adorable? Okay. Oh, this. Also got this piece of tunnel. This is a very small bud base. 
Um, I got it because it's not very often that you find kind of this mauve color uh, tonala. I have found a cat before, um, but this is the second time I've found any tonala in this exact color. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's got this really cool butterfly on it and flowers. And this one is marked tonala here on the bottom. If I can get it to focus, there you go, tonala Mexico. Just a really, really cool piece. Again, my boho people will love that, I think. Let me know if you do. Okay, you know I'm obsessed with sheet music. So if I find it and I think it's cool, I get it. Um, this one is amazing. This has a uh, World War II, sorry, World War I graphic on it uh, with this little girl, Bring Back My Daddy to Me. My grandfather used to sing me this song. Um, but look at her, is she not beautiful? This is from 1917, guys. And World War I ended in 1990, so there's just a lot of history when you look at this piece. Really special, and I absolutely love it. Okay, next to it is the Woodpecker song. I thought this was really cool as well. I like the graphic of the Woodpecker. This is Glenn Miller, which I thought was kind of cool. I want to say this is from the 40s. Let me make sure. 1939. Close. Um, this is in great shape. Actually, Bring Back My Daddy to me is, is as well, especially for being antique. Then I got this one, Good Night Wherever You Are, which I kind of like that. Um, she is absolutely beautiful. Jenny Sims. And this one is from 1940. Four. Yeah. God, I had to think about that for a second. Okay. And then over here are two other pieces of sheet music, and these are phenomenal as well. Um, okay, so I didn't take German in high school. Did you guys? I'm going to try this. Off weiter sign. Off weiter sign. But not goodbye. Um, look at her. I love, love this. I like the flowers. I like the orange and black. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And this is from 1917. I'm not gonna open it. On um, Some of these older pieces of sheet music, I don't, I don't like to open them just because I don't wanna cause any damage. But look at her, it's so, so cool. Then next to her is Smiles. And Smiles is also from 1917. Look at her. This is just phenomenal. Um, there is more damage on this one, um, but isn't it, amazing guys I love it let me I'll, I'll pick it up but I'm not opening it I want to but I'm not is she not the best oh my gosh I love her okay so again if anyone is interested in anything you can always reach out to me and we can work something out um I hope you guys are having a great day thank you as always for all your support thanks to all the new people who have followed me I've noticed um, I'm gaining more subs so that's amazing don't forget to like and comment and share the channel. Okay, guys, thank you so, so very much. I hope everyone is doing well, and I love you guys.